Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day. John Lopez UK here today, and today I'm going to be explaining to you guys what Albion is and what their roles are in Watch Dogs Legions. So, uh, this video, I'm just going to say, uh, the video is going to be... The video is going to be very long, because we're going to be covering all of these categories, as you see on screen. Um, so today we're only focusing on the first three, because... Because of how long these are probably going to be, um, we're going to make them... This is going to be part one of many. I'm not too sure how many, but this will be part one. So, uh, the f we're doing the first three. Uh, Albion. What is Albion? The general idea of Albion is a security company that patrols London. And uh, they're, they're the vehicle's right in front of me. Which my auto drive does not want to uh, head to. But this... Okay. Yeah, but this uh, this car right behind me is uh, an Albion guard just patrolling the streets. This is basically what Albion is. So, like I said, let's get into part one. Let's get into uh, how the uh, a basic explanation of what Albion is. All right. All right. Let me read off the Wikipedia page and tell you what they say about Albion for Watch Dogs Legions. So Albion is a mili uh, private military company uh, charged with public security and law enforcement in London. It's uh, let me just explain. I'll add I'll add I'll add to the topics as I speak them, but as I talk about them. But um, basically, the Metropolitan Police Service uh, they patrol London. Uh, Albion's basically replaced them in Watch Dogs Legions, uh, and um, it serves as a enemy uh, function to uh, DedSec. Uh, let me just give you a summary. Uh, the Albion PMC, we can call them that, is a British private uh, military company uh, based in London. Um, it has a it has become the principal organisation through uh, which law enforcement is conducted in London. Um, the company has uh, assumed full practical control over the city's public security and even part Auto drive now enabled. partial control over uh, the courts of law. Albion flags emblems and propaganda are featured regularly throughout London so um, basically um, throughout London you'll find a load of propaganda uh, join Albion and you'll hear on the radios as well it's it's gonna talk about it Albion guards are here for your safety basically um, they do that and they've replaced the Metropolitan Police because uh, and basically it's everything that should be police is now Albion except for a of course, some police departments they still have secure. Uh, they still have police officers. Um, the company is in close cooperation with uh, Signals Intelligence Response Service, the SIRS, um, which uh, administers uh, mass surveillance throughout London and forwards inf uh, relevant information to Albion as well as with Tidus Corporation, which we don't need to know about. Um, Basically, the the SIRS uh, basically they send all the security information to Albion. So, for example, you pass a checkpoint, they'll notify Albion. They'll come and chase you with that. Um, it actually shares very, uh, various similarities with Humani, a private security force that's contribute that contracts a large corporation. Um, basically, if you know Humani, uh, I do Humani patrols on this channel all the time. You guys will watch that. You guys, hopefully, you guys do do watch that. But um, the human eye and uh, Albion are uh, quite similar in what they do. They both arrest people, they do patrol areas and that. They don't really patrol the streets. Uh, human eye didn't do that, but Albion does that now. Uh, Nigel Cass is the executive chief officer of Albion and uh, is one of the antagonists of DedSec, actually. You actually kill him later on, but I'm not going to spoil all of that. All right. Uh, the company is noted for its uh, frequent human and civil rights uh, violations regularly uh, apprehending and trashing civilians for yeah okay so basically a civilian will be abused and harassed by Albion guards it's it's typical you'll get used to it it happens all the time in London so that's basically uh, what they do the history of Albion starts uh, from the uh, in, okay in the mission uh, inside Albion we're not going to talk about the missions and that but basically what is it called? Um, all right, a basic explanation of what happened. So, due to uh, London bombings and Watch Dogs Legions, what happens is basically L Albion gets put in charge of protecting London because the Metropolitan Police couldn't handle that. 
So that's basically that's basically the whole, ex, uh, the whole history explained uh, why they're here. Uh, the behavior in that, we're not going to talk about all of the other stuff on here because, you know, I'm going to go over all that. I'm going to give you a full behavior analysis, what they do when they're patrolling. I'll, maybe I'll follow one for three hours. I'm not too sure. But, um, yeah, and there, are, there are different classes. There are uh, Albion contractors, Albion employees, and the Albion captains, along with other many more. Each have their own specific weapons and that, yeah. So that's basically the explanation around the Albion. Uh, now I'll do a be I'll do a behavior analysis. All right. All right. For the behavior analysis, let's start off with this. As you see here, we have two Albion employees just waiting around, patrolling an area. Uh, they are uh, equipped, sort of. You can't really chat with them unless you want to recruit them, of course. But as you see, two of them they just sit around, they stare at the area. Just guarding it in that. Uh, the skills, one of them will have it'll have Albion access and a melee weapon. The other one has Albion access, a melee weapon, a handgun, and a, uh, a skill. That's about it. Let's move on to uh, a couple of the other characters. Alright, now let's move on to another uh, Albion employee. This one will be abusing and harassing someone on the streets because he doesn't have a partner to talk to. Just listen in. So as you see, after a while, he'll be abused and then he'll leave. After the Albion Guard insists him to. You see, they tell, they talk to you in a very rude manner because they want you out. As you see this one, he is still targeting an empl a, a victim because they haven't officially walked off. He'll uh, also just walk around, patrol the area. He'll also walk around, patrol the area and tell you to leave and then just, you know. He'll be very hostile towards you if, uh, and then once you leave, he'll probably leave you alone and get investigated for assault. Not really. Let's get into our, we'll walk off now that we step by our vehicle. Of course, he'll stomp off like he's angry. That's copyright music. I'll just mute that part. Anyway, my bad. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Wrong, on the wrong side, on the wrong side. Um. So as you see, he will cross crosswalks, and he'll he will just wait around on his phone sometimes. They do they do things differently. So I'm gonna pull right over here, and I'm just gonna park over here. Uh, he's gonna walk over here. As you see, he's got Albion access, he's got baton, and he's got a perk or skill at the bottom. I call them skills. You can call them whatever, but you know, they will normally have around the same thing with a melee weapon, of course, and then a. Al They'll definitely have a melee weapon, and they will have the the restricted access. But sometimes you won't see them with handguns. Sometimes you won't see them with skills. Sometimes you won't see them with both. You know, it's it's a you'll see it in people, and uh, he'll probably start victimizing someone else now. No, he won't. He's uh after he's done victimizing somebody, he'll just walk off and not not do anything about it. He'll just walk off. You know, typical. And also. We have this Albion contractor over here who is uh, also victimizing a person with his weapon out, which is quite serious. Another thing you can see happening on the streets is an Albion parked vehicles over here and a contractor is beating the living crap out of a civilian. Just listen to it. You see what I mean? And now they'll go back to patrolling for a while until they decide to victimize their target again. Now this is mainly because they're in a private car park. They think that they have access over everyone. Just give it a minute. He'll go back to abusing her. You see? I could beat you to death just for a laugh. You see what I mean? And then he'll sit around for a while guarding his arrested victim. 
for a while. This will be for the longest of time. And then she'll be, please help, you know. But then again, he'll get down and beat the living crap out of her again. Just give it a minute. He'll get bored of standing around with his weapon out. As you see, this Albion contractor has uniformed access. He has, of course, his weapon. This is just a vendor. She's out, you know, selling clothes. Something simple, and yet she's going to get abused. Now, I should probably leave this area. Let's just take a look at the guard. He has a uniformed access. He has a weapon. He has a baton, and he has a skill. So, you see? Anyway, let's move on. Alright, and now in this you see, you see a Albion contractor working together with an Albion employee to victimize a target. Now I'm going to move out of here before he gets angry at me. Of course I want to keep my distance, but take a look at what happens. As the Albion employee is harassing and victimizing this, uh, she's a scientist, the Albion contractor will stand around with his weapon out, guarding the area, making sure that no one comes by to attack. And you see, it's a it's it's a working team. Two Albion two Albion uh, personnel harassing people, working as a team. That's what they do, and they will attack you if you do get too close. Of course, what are you doing in your? Oh, my car is in the. Okay, let's forget about that. Forget about my uh, my Voxel just parked up in the corner. Just forget about that. But but you see, how it works is. The person walks too closely, the Albion employee decides to interact with them, and they end up harassing and abusing them. Stop beeping your goddamn transit van. And then the Albion contractor, of course, is going to stand around and make sure that the employee is safe. Alright, let me hop out of my hot hatch, and let me show you guys this. This corporal, corporal is basically getting abused by this Albion employee right here, with his talus behind him. Of course, he tries to defend himself and gets taken to the ground. Take a listen to what they say. As you see, he's yelling at him in very rude ways. Still feeling brave. Fucking useless. Fucking useless. No, 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 Spineless no, no, no. twat. You know, all the rubbish that you know you normally expect. He is. It's like the police, but more fucked up police. That's basically what this is. Now, of course. Now, of course, he's arrested. He'll. The guard will stand guard of his victim, and then come back to abusing him, of course. Now his Talos is behind him, to show he has got power, and watch this, he's going to come to the front, and he's going to come abuse him. I'll make you scream. Now you could go up and rescue them, if you want to want to level. Now, I'm going to actually move on from this location because you guys know what happens when people get abused. You know, the typical... We have this Albion contractor over here who's got uniformed access, a machine gun, a baton, and also a, uh, a skill. So, this is what they look like. They have... Well, I'll show you the characters later on, but as you see, this... You know, this you, this uh, From the outside, you can see he's just armoured in that. Two people are just having a talk, and there's propaganda going on in the background. Albion, Albion is here to protect you, and you know all the all the other ob, other rubbish that I'm gonna be showing in the other episodes. But this is basically what he is. Sits around, stands guard. That's about it for this area. Let's move on to uh, probably the uh, one of the last characters. That guy is being victimized for uh, videotaping the whole thing. Yep. That just happened. He would start recording and he got victimized. Let's move on. 
Alright, let me just throw my spider bot over here to trigger the alarm. And then it'll alert two different guards over here. Remember, we're not doing the IR... Uh, the SR... SIRS. SIRI. Not them. We're not going to be worrying about them, but... Here is the Albion contractor as a female. You'll normally see them sparking blue... Uh, blue military-style camo trousers with... Uh, Body armor on and a beanie. That's the uh, that's the Albion. Uh, yep, Albion contractor, and she's got uniformed access, a skill, um, a melee weapon, and that. And oh, actually, that that guy is Albion security. I'm gonna uh, I might get him in. Uh, I might deal with him for a bit. But you know, I can uh, I can up the fence over here. That's safe. But this is what they look like: just blue body armor with uh, black boots. You know, typical. Anyway. There's Albion security. He's noticed us. He's got uniformed access, a melee weapon, and he's got a handgun. I'll show him to you in uh, more detail later on. Alright. Uh, let's move on then. Alright, now here is an Albion contractor standing out in the open just minding his own business and doing his job like he normally should. Now he can perform random ID checks if he'd like to. As you see, if I evade his personal space, he will point his weapon at me and tell me to please leave. With that, I respect his opinions and I leave. He is armed with uniformed access, a light machine gun, a baton and a light melee weapon. If you get close to him while his phone's out, he will get pissed at you, but he'll get pissed at you later on. And tell you to move on. You see, once he's got, once he gets off the phone, he'll tell you to move on. This right here, I do respect. A person who doesn't harass others, out of uh, just sits around and does his job. Let's move on then. All right, now on to the different characters you can find in Watch Dogs Legions, as Albion, of course. Now some you can find roaming on the streets and patrolling some areas, but. Certain ones we're not going to go over. For example, this is an Albion captain. Uh, he is seen on the streets. He is actually one of my operatives. And this is an Albion employee. You can find them on the streets along with the uh, right here. There should be an Albion contractor. Um, no, apparently that's not. Okay, I guess there's um, there's two on the streets right now. I'll find the other one later on. Sure, I'll find him. But the, there are the elite contractors and the elite uh, captain. There he is. Okay. But anyway, I'll talk about the people that you can find roaming around, patrolling areas and that. Not, none of the people in, like, mission exclusives and that. But anyway. Alright. This right here is one of my, uh, one of my other operatives. Um, he is an Albion employee. What does that mean? That means he doesn't have as high of a rank as most of the other uh, officers and that. But, let me just show you guys uh, what he can do without uh, further ado. So, uh, first things first. Alright, so first, alright, take a look at this. So, this is what he looks like. Right now he's got, let's start from the bottom and move our way up. So, of course he's got black boots, uh, he's got black trousers. Uh, just to give you a good look around. Uh, and then he's got a yellow, uh, the yellow shirt inside, along with black gloves and a black jacket with Albion written on it of course and then the, he has a hat on top that says Albion uh, what equipment does he have well he's got let's not worry about the drone we don't need to know about that I don't know how I have it but he has a baton which let me get away from everyone else so I can oh don't want to hit anyone take the mask off all right but look at this this is the baton all right very nice. Uh, you've also got your uh, what else? Let's check. Uh, yeah, you've got your uh, your standard issue uh, handgun, of course. And then you can switch between that and the other weapon. Which let's put it away because we're not going to show that. So um, he does put on a mask and everything, and uh, he does have the uniformed access, which is you're able to toggle on and off. So here's what he looks like without it. Standard person with a standard suit, nothing special. And then you have it on, which is completely Albion. So, alright, um, let's move on. Alright, we could use your abilities now. Alright, this right here is the Albion security. 
which is kind of odd because Albion is security. But basically what she is, is basically she's between the Albion employee and the Albion contractor. And I'm going to show you guys what she looks like. So uh, she, she does have two different abilities. I'll go over those. Uh, the Kelly, she does uh, increase damage to clan Kelly gang members and spends less time when arrested because she is Albion uh, security, of course. All right. Anyway, photo mode. Let's uh, let's take a look at that. All right. So first things first. You've got dress shoes apparently uh, to match the suit. Of course, I don't know why, but that, I guess that's why. Uh, you've got black trousers, uh, a light blue uh, shirt inside. You've got a yellow tie and a black suit jacket. Apparently. Uh, she does have, don't worry about all that other stuff, but she, she does have a, what is it? Uh, she does have a baton. Let's show you guys how that works. But like every other baton, let's not, let's not target people, okay? That's not the point of this video, but yeah. That's what it does. Let's disable that. Yeah, they immediately removed it. Alright, but anyway, um, what else does she have? She has a handgun, of course, along with, um, I think that's about it. And she can okay. remove her clothes and stuff, which, uh, yeah. This is what she looks like as a civilian. Unable to tell that she's with working with Albion, and there is apparently... And apparently there is uh, some other stuff going on right now, which, uh, you know, alright. But anyway, I could actually just join into this right here if I wanted to. Um, I could stand around and act like an idiot. And they won't arrest me or anything because I am one of them. Alright, that's apparently all I've got to say for this character right here. These, I'll be a security, alright? Let's move on to the next character. Alright, let's get right into this. This is the Albion Contractor. What he does, patrol the streets of London, and he has some other stuff. Here's his baton, of course, I'll show you that first. Now you've got a, uh... Alright. Smuggler with Clan Kelly, I know that. What's wrong, mate? You got beef! This guy looks like he has beef. Let's turn on my, uh... Oh yeah, we do have Tough Drunk in that. He can chug beer right now if he wants to. But uh, we're not gonna. I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm gonna show you guys what he looks like first. So he's got black boots, uh, yellow, apparently yellow camo trousers, um, body armor and stuff. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna bully you and harass you right now, and then I could decide what to, what your outcome is, of course. And you know what, mate, you're going to jail. I don't like you in a. I don't like you people in my uh, city. Yep, and it says arrested by me, of course. Um, I could rescue him and let him go, but I'm not going to do that because he needs some discipline. I'm not going to beat him or anything while he's down, but I do have a weapon, so this is my this is my uh, standard issued weapon. I've also got other things. Uh, basically, the contractor, I'm able to arrest people. That's like, after the employee, the security phase, you're able to arrest people now, which is great. You can also chug beer if you want. Apparently that makes you, uh, makes you, uh, stronger to, uh, melee attacks. But then again, when you're drunk, you lose consciousness and everything. But, let's move on now to, uh, oh yeah, he's got this. So I'm gonna take his, uh, uniform off. This is what it looks like as a standard civilian, of course. You've got typical hat. And everything you could put it back on if you want to go back into disguise it doesn't show up the other one I'll, uh, I'll pop that one on screen right now just give me a minute all right so of course I've gone over this uniform already the yellow on yellow of course but did you know the Albion uh, have another one so he has this one of course and then he has his default um, there is this one of course which is for the mostly the, uh, the ones that patrol restricted areas and that along with this one is a handgun unit um, so let's let me show you guys what he do, what he has. Of course, I'm just gonna show the design. You know everything about this character already. Black tr uh, black boots. You've got the black trousers, and you do have a leg holster on this character right here, which 
which is very unique, of course. Um, let's go up. He's got the black vest, which is basically yellow, but textured black. And uh, he's got a uh, hat at the top. That's it. All right. This is the female Albion contractor, of course. There are two different types. But anyway, this is the female version of uh, Albion contractor. You know what she typically does. You have, you know all the equipment and that. So we're not going to go over her much. We're going to... Well, actually, hold on. Let me just... Uh, so black trousers, of course, black boots, black everything, a leg holster and that. This is what she looks like. Alright, generally same thing as the other one. Nothing different. Like, except maybe... Nah, no, not really. Everything is basically the same. Um, you do have handcuffs on her as well. She does have a baton. And some other stuff. Uh, can she damage vehicles? No. Sadly, the baton doesn't do anything against vehicles. But, you know. You've got your typical uh, handgun. This one is a handgun unit, so of course she will have a handgun on her. Uh, handcuffs on, off. Of course, she does have a permanent death thing going, which uh, is bad. Um, and that's about it. This is what she looks like as a regular civilian. And then you put this on, and she is a Albion uh, contractor. Of course, I I do have to collect so many Albion characters for this, but uh. Uniform. She only has this and that. Normally, you can you can see other ones will have a, a blue camo style of a uh, uniform. But anyway, let's uh, let's move on to the last uh, and probably the last character. All right, and here is the last character of this uh, review. So here is the Albion captain who uh, is on patrol. Uh, this is what he looks like. He's basically got the typical what you'd find on a regular Albion character, the standard uniform. Black uh, boots, a white and black camo trousers. Those are actually better textured boots than I thought, unlike the other ones. But then again, you have the vest and the jacket over it. Um, looks decent. Yeah, and he's got a white mask. That is one thing you can definitely be able to tell, which is uh, which does make him unique. Um, so that's what he basically looks like. He does have a... Uh, what does he have? This is just, that's a random DJ, but he does have a baton. He can use it. And I don't want to uh, auto-click on people. Alright. And he does have his firearm, of course. Which I'm not going to fire because every, everything is going to go bad. But uh, ironically, this guy has, this is the only uniform. I'd, I expected another one, but that's it. We can also toggle handcuffs on and off, but basically he doesn't have a, a, another uniform than this. It's just this one. Now, there is another character after this one. This is what he looks like as a civilian. Now, oh, didn't mean to do that. Did not mean to do that. But anyway, I'm going to show you that he only has one uh, set of clothes So for the uniform. So he's got this, the civilian look, and then he's got this, of course. Looks better with Albion on, when no one can tell. I'm actually going to let you go, because you have not committed a crime. And I don't believe in police brutality. But anyway, let's move on then.